So we're just getting ready to leave Northwest Bay. Um, this is the beginning of our trip north, so we're trying to get all the way up to the Broughtons in the next week or so. Our plan is today to make it to Henry Bay, which is on Denman Island, which is about 30 nautical miles from here. And then tomorrow, hopefully make it to Campbell River, and then try to make it through Seymour Narrows and into Johnstone Strait, and then up to the Broughtons. Oh, there's a couple of otters. Um, yeah, so this is really exciting because we've been trying to do this for like a month, but our fridge died obviously, so we couldn't make it up there, otherwise we would have been up there a long time ago. But we got the fridge installed yesterday, so we're wasting no time, we're going. So we're supposed to have southeasterly winds for either two or three days, and then after that it's supposed to be northwesterlies, and northwesterlies are obviously the complete opposite direction of what we're trying to go, and they get really strong. So we're hoping that we can make it through Seymour Narrows before those hit, otherwise we're going to be stuck in Campbell River probably for a few days, or Quadra, whatever, anywhere, somewhere in that area. And we don't want to do that because we've wasted, not wasted, but we've spent a lot of time not exactly where we want to be and not exploring because we were waiting for that fridge. Keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> Today it's supposed to be between 10 and 20 knots for most of the day, blowing southeast, and then it's supposed to die off. We've got quite a few storms that have rolled through, so I would assume that that's probably accurate, but hopefully not more than that, because we just don't want to deal with more wind than that. But we will be ready for it anyway. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty dark and rainy out there right now, but that's okay, we've also got foul weather gear, so we'll be fine. So, yeah, we're just getting ready. We're gonna head out pretty quick, and we're excited to finally be going north and getting to where we want to go this summer. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Join us as we live and sail in the Pacific Northwest on our 40-foot steel sailboat. We headed out of Nanus with squalls on the horizon and enough wind to quickly lift our sails. We soon went from a beam reach to downwind sailing and were able to play around with another sail configuration, which was awesome. Downwind sailing fun! got the pole out and improvised the second pole for our staysail. See if that pole was extended all the way out, we can get that sail way out there. But... Yeah, it's, I'm pretty happy with that actually. Well, I'm going to go put the motor on. We'll leave this like this. We'll just motor sail in because we need to get moving. Yep. We did, however, catch the outflow known as the Qualicum Winds as we passed Hornby Island and we were able to sail for a few minutes before the wind died back to nothing.
we're not moving. I think we're good. We're in 30 Nailed it. Feet, but the anchor's in 25. Okay, we got so, enough down for 30 feet. You've got enough for 30? Yeah, because you said 22 when I dropped it. So we got 150 feet of chain down. That should be enough. So we have 150 feet of chain down, anchored in about 25 feet of water, but the tide's going to go up another 8 feet today. So we're anchoring for the high tide, not for what we're in right now. We're the only boat here, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign, but whatever. I think it's, it's whatever. Fine. I didn't see a whole lot of people out. No, it, is a, it is a Tuesday. which is just a little bit south of Courtney and Comox. And we're on, we're in, we're Henry in Bay. Henry Bay. Um, just for the night, unless the weather's crap tomorrow. Cause we've got to cross the Comox bar to get to Campbell River tomorrow, but we're not going to do that if it's bad weather because we learned the hard way one time how not fun it is in there. Across the bar, the chop and wave started to pick up. We were unfortunately forced to go broadside to them right at their steepest point as they converged around Hornby and Denman Islands. And we decided that it was too big for us to make it out that day. We didn't get any proper video of the chop, but it was extremely uncomfortable. So this is the aftermath, for most of it. And spots. Everything on the floor. Smashed over. Well, the Strait of Georgia has officially defeated us today. We got not even quite around the point at Comox and decided to turn around because we had so much chop going on and it was like pretty steep waves and very short and we were just, we couldn't get to where we needed to go without having to go broadside and uh, it was just insane. We were rock rocking like crazy so. This is what we get, I guess, for not heeding the weather warnings and trying to follow our own schedule instead of the weather schedule. Although our boat's better this time, we might be fine actually, but we just don't wanna don't wanna mess with that. So Denman is kind of they call it the speed bump on the way to Hornby Island because people usually just take the ferry across it to get to Hornby, because Hornby's got lots of cool stuff. But Denman also has lots of cool stuff, like this park that we're in right now. So it's, it's awesome to just stop here on the boat, because if we were going to Hornby on the ferry or whatever, we probably wouldn't stop here. I wish we had more time to spend here. It'd yeah. be nice to spend an extra day and do some hiking, walking around. But yeah, the beach is beautiful, nice sand. Haven't found any beach glass yet, though. <laughs> Max. Do you have a ball, Max? Is that your ball? Are you gonna go for a ball chase?
so we're on our way again. Just leaving Henry Bay on Denman Island and we're on our way to Campbell River for the day. For maybe a couple of days. I still have to phone the marina to see if they have space for us, but we're hoping that we can get into the marina for the night and provision now that we have our proper fridge freezer set up. Tomorrow we'll either head to Galland Harbor or we'll head through the Narrows and we're, we'll start heading north. Exciting times! Our big struggle today, not even really a struggle because we planned it properly, but we have to get across the Comox Bar, which we tried to do one time and had a horrible time with. So this time we've timed it for the right tides, the weather's right. It shouldn't be an issue, we should get across pretty easy and then be on our way. Campbell River is the farthest north that we've been. Yeah, we're getting close to heading farther north and into new territory, which is amazing. We haven't really been into new territory on this boat yet. Also there's not supposed to be like any wind today so that's gonna be both nice and not nice because it's supposed to switch to northwest this evening which is the opposite direction of what we want so as long as it's like as long as it's below like 5-10 knots we should be fine. How's the bar crossing feeling today? Not bad. It's actually super calm, which is nice. Because, yeah, there's like currents, converging current. It's 18 feet deep. <laughs> and then as soon as we cross it, it goes to like, keeps dropping off to like 130 feet, and then 200, and then 300. The shallowest we should see today is like 14 feet, so. A red marker back there. Yeah. And you gotta stay on this side of it like we're going out so we're gonna keep it on our port side and then there's another one up there and then there's one just past it and if you keep them in a row you probably won't hit anything probably <laughs> Last marker there. It rang a little bit. Let us know we went by. Not really, but. We also tried our hand at trolling for the first time while we were out there, but we definitely didn't catch anything. Almost back at Discovery Marina. Um, coming up the channel here, we hit it a bit early, so we're running with three knots of current with us, <laughs> which is interesting. The water's a lot calmer, but we are moving fast. At one point, we were doing eight knots. We're gonna try to get into the harbor and tie up to the dock. We're back on H Dock, which is the one we were on with uh, Nordic. We're gonna try to get in there, even with this much current with us. So it's going to be interesting, but at least there's not really any wind. So we're only we're only dealing with one factor that we've got to worry about getting onto the dock. Feels like we're going slow, but then I look at the GPS and we're still doing seven knots, just above an idle. Once we were behind the breakwater, the current died and we docked without an issue. We spent the rest of the afternoon provisioning and preparing for our journey northward. Join us next week when we finally get north of Seymour Narrows and reach our first anchorage in the Discovery Islands. And thank you so much for being here with us, liking, subscribing, and leaving us a comment. We read and try to reply to every one of them.